Um, initially, there were three concepts considered during the planning, which was the arch, the pet, the pet trust, and the warren trust with verticals. Uh, with arch bridge, the load are spread outwards around the curve of the arch to support the other end. However, with spaghetti being used, it would be really hard to make the arch perf perfectly, so the idea was quickly scrapped. Um, secondly, the pet trust with the the diagonal members are in tension while the vertical member are uncompressed. Since it was easy, easy for us to make it, uh, Pratt truss design was chosen for the first bridge for trial. And lastly, the one truss with verticals. Since we figured since um, having verticals member would make the bridge stronger. Uh, we chose a whole truss because they have a great weight distribution across the bridge and the vertical and diagonal members slope towards the center. Go. This is a picture of the top first. The okay, middle, okay. the middle. Yeah, see, that's what we're it's going to break. Oh, it's going to break the middle, that's it. Yeah. Oh, man. That's what we need, a cross membrane. See? That's what we need, a cross membrane. Um, so, from the video, it was... Obviously, it was, um, the bridge didn't perform very well. Uh, you have a maximum weight of um, 10 kilos. And... Uh, Weight of the bridge was 196 gram. We measured it before. Uh, so the f the bridge was put together with 10 spaghetti sticks in a bundle. With um hot glue gun was used to um stick the spaghetti sticks joints together. And the design plan on the bridge was based on the pet truss. But as you can see on the right side, the truss was was supposed to go the vertical truss was supposed to go the other way. But we didn't realize that until we tested it. Um, so yeah, for 196 gram and 10 kilos, it was performing well under under its ability. However, um, through the analysis of the video, it was you can is that you can see that none of the verticals members actually broke. Broke. The only thing that broke from the bridge is the diagonal members that support the metal bar for the weight machine um, this could due to um, the bridge being not level when placed on a flat area are you serious this is torture you're torturing me and everyone else watching Wait. so uh, what did we learn from the trial of the first bridge so first of all we have to keep the bridge flat and instead of using hot glue gun you have to use super glue because hot glue gun was not even permitted in the first place. Uh, and the gap in the middle needs to be bigger to accommodate the metal frame and especially have to be even. So the loads is uh, distribute distribute um, evenly across the bridge. Um, as well as having a stronger members to support the metal frame in the middle. And lastly, it's better not to rush things up because the reason why the reason, one of the reason why the bridge was crooked is because we just rush, rush it up to f quickly finish it. Well, the first step was to draw up the planning for the bottom plate of the bridge. Uh, the length of the bridge is forty centimeter, as the bridge must have a clear gap of thirty five centimeter. Uh, in the drawing, you are able to see a gap in the middle, and that is for the metal frame. By doing it this way, we can ensure that the load will uh, be spread evenly across the bridge, unlike the first trial of the bridge. Afterwards, using the drawing, we will replicate the shape by using bundles of spaghetti to stick it together. Um, I also forgot to mention that the width, the width of the bridge is eight centimeter. So uh, after completing the bottom plate of the bridge, we place four um, vertical members across to support the top plate which will support the vertical members in the middle. In this step we place the vertical members on top of the bottom plate to support the top the, the top plate. 
and uh, in the fourth step we add some more um, vertical and diagonal members on each side of the bridge so um, here is a final look of the bridge after adding some few more um, vertical and diagonal members and then at the bottom we add few more diagonal bracings to support the bottom plate uh, this whole process took me in another team member roughly about three days of work <laughs> oh that's hot that's hot nice Go, go. <laughs> oh. yeah. It's rewind time. Uh, through the rewind video and the photo present, it's evident that the connection between the joints of spaghetti is not set properly together which is why it fails and break. However, I feel like the bridge could have done better and achieved more weight if the joints were properly connected. It's also noted that the gap that hold the metal frame didn't break unlike the first bridge, which means that the load was distributed across the bridge properly. So, um, thank you for watching our presentation and I hope you enjoy it.